In this video, we'll take a look at how to sign a 21 CFR EPAC. If an EPAC has been sent to you for signature, you'll receive an email notification letting you know that there's an EPAC waiting for your attention. You can click the link in the EPAC to come into the system and sign it, or you can simply log into the system and find the EPAC in your inbox on your dashboard page. Here you can see that I have one EPAC waiting for my signature. If I scroll to the right, you can see under the certificate policy that it is a 21 CFR EPAC. Let's go ahead and click on it. This will bring us to the signing page. On the signing page, you can see a preview of the EPAC documents and read through them. Make sure everything's in order. Once you're ready to apply your signature, simply click the Start button. This brings you to the tags that need your attention. Because this is a 21 CFR EPAC, you'll notice that the signature tag has four components embedded into it. It contains your signature, your printed name, the date and time stamp of the signature, and the signature reason or meaning. These four components are required in order for your signature to be compliant with FDA 21 CFR Part 11. To apply your signature, simply click to apply your signature in the signature box. Your signature will appear and then it will ask you to select a reason. If you haven't yet signed with MSB, when you click to apply your signature, a pop-up will appear and it'll allow you to configure the appearance of your signature. Once your signature is there, the pop-up will appear for you to select a signing reason. If the custodian has chosen the reason for you when they sent the EPAC to you, you will not have to choose a reason, one will be selected for you. If you've been allowed to choose a reason for yourself, just select from the drop-down. And now you've done all of the required actions to apply your signature. Click Finish to finish. A pop-up appears. You can enter comments. Comments are optional. They will be recorded to the audit trail for the document. You must enter your username. That's your email address, so enter your full email address. Please note if you're using single sign-on to log into My Signature Book, your system may be configured for you to enter your single sign-on details. If that's true, the screen you see right now will be slightly different than the one I'm showing you. Go ahead and enter your single sign-on credentials on the screen that you see instead and you'll be brought back to the system once you do that. For all other users, you enter your email address as your username here. Enter your password. Agree to the terms and conditions and click Sign. We finished signing our EPAC.